This particular problem, I'm going to solve a system of linear equations. It's going to be two equations and two unknowns, and you can see what they look like up there at the top. First thing I'm going to do is rewrite them uh, using a, a pencil. This could be done on a pencil and p paper. Uh, the notice the second equation, I'm going to take the uh, 2y that's on the right and move it over to the left. And when I do that, it becomes negative 2y. Okay? Uh, we want them in order, the variables in order, uh, kind of lined up with x's under x's and y's under y's. Um, I'm going to use a technique called elimination. Uh, to solve this system of equations. Uh, we're going to try to eliminate the y variable. Notice to do that, uh, we simply multiply the top equation by negative 2. Thus, it will make uh, the y term, the y term in the first equation, a positive 2y. Uh, I did do a little thinking about this before I did it. Now make sure when you multiply the top equation by ne negative 2, you multiply all the terms. And if you take a look, I think I did it OK. Take the second equation and rewrite it, if you'll notice. And uh, notice now, if we add the two equations together, we are going to get 0 uh, in the, uh, out of the two terms that are in y. Uh, that, thus, we have eliminated the y variable. So we end up with negative 5x is equal to negative 12. And now we have one equation and one unknown, and we thus have the ability to solve for that variable x. Uh, fairly simply, I think if we just divide both sides of the equation by negative 5, that will give us a positive x uh, variable, or a 1 in front of the x, and thus we have solved for x. So it looks like x is 12 fifths. Okay, so major progress. We have one of the variables uh, found. And now we'll take the uh, one of the equations, the x equals 2y uh, plus 4, take the x and stick it into it, and solve for y. Thus we have yet another simple linear equation in one variable, which gives us the power to solve for that value. Okay. So now we'll progress there. I'm going to leave the 12 fifths on the left, move the 4 across, and while I'm doing it, I'm going to change it into fifths. I think 4 would be negative 20 fifths. And since we moved it across the equation, it ends up being negative 20 fifths, or negative 4 if you like. Uh, leave the 2y on the right side. And I forgot to put the y in, but there it is. Uh, do the arithmetic there, 12 fifths minus 20 fifths. Looks like it ought to be somewhere around 8, negative 8 fifths. It is negative because the, uh, the negative 20 fifths is bigger than the 12 uh, fifths. Okay, now we're going to try to get y all by himself, and we'll multiply both sides of the equation by a positive 1 half, and I think that will do the trick. Okay, just see what happens, and we should get the solution for y here in a few seconds. Uh, basic arithmetic here, and it looks like good old y will be negative 4 fifths. Okay, just for the fun of it, I'm going to use a program here and take the two lines and graph them and throw that up in a second and take a look and see uh, if it looks like we might have the correct answer. We could also stick them back into the two, one of the equations and see how we did. But just for the fun of it, uh, the two solutions, the two values here will be the intersection of the two lines. And there is the plot of it using a program called MuPad. And uh, I can do a little highlight or a little mouse over here on this, and we'll see approximately what that intersection is. Thank you for using our movie.